feel that economics in its essence just tries to describe how people interact with each other and how societies interact with each other. And I feel that that is like a central core that's crucial to understanding any relationship, whether it be on a micro level in households or on a macro level like between countries. The reason that economics matters is that every single person needs resources like food and housing to live. And then every society, every government needs to allocate these resources. And in addition, other resources like schools and roads in public health care, public safety, like policemen and national defense in order to make the country function. So economics, unlike what many people think, it's not just about finance and generating money in the stock market. Economy is a field of activity, uh, human use of natural resources, household management, production and distribution, meaning human activity to ensure life. Economics as a science and policy is activity to ensure and improve the well-being of people. Unlike business, business, the goal of which is to earn as much money as possible and not to go to jail. The essential purpose of economics always matters because groups of people will always be facing, you know, that um, that uh, terrifying spectrum between scarcity and surplus, uh, between stagnation and growth. And therefore we need the, the kind of thinking that we have called economics in order to help us find uh, a, a way to flourish in that spectrum. Sometimes, you know, it matters in a way that um, that can hold us back and sometimes it matters in a way that can push us forward. So many of the central issues of our time, like climate change, mass wealth inequality, racism, how the housing crisis, these are all rooted in economic systems and um, also so many of our um, industrial, economic and logistical infrastructure obviously is rooted in our economic system. I think one can imagine and one can easily see that the organization or the setup or the deployment of that uh, system is uh, primordial in terms of the outcome for quality of life of the individual stability of um, the system, the society, balance of the environment, but also I think to uh, the extent uh, that, you know, um, uh, concerns are being given to uh, people that are on the fringe of society. Um, and so these are also for the people like, you know, the elderly, uh, the deprived, uh, the sick and uh, the immigrants. So um, yeah, that's why, you know, economics as such is a very important kind of, uh, or plays a vital role in our society. Economics is the study of scarcity, of uh, choice subject to budget constraints. It's the study of how people respond to incentives. It's the study of poverty and prosperity and their fundamental determinants. Uh, it's the study of uh, social processes and human interaction. Uh, it's the study of how markets are organized and property rights are defined. Economics is part of our life. It's a social science and it describes and analyzes the world we live in. And uh, it provides the analytical instruments to understand the complexity of our world. It tells us how we produce, how we consume, how we use resources, how we use natural resources, how we take decisions. Um, and how we interact with each other and uh, how much product productivity we are able to, uh, to obtain and so on and so forth. It's one of the ways in which we try to, to understand the world, both individually and, and collectively. Uh, economics really touches on the questions about how we want to figure out how to, how to live a good life. What do we value? How can we achieve prosperity? 
Economics matters because these questions are at the heart of the most vital existential questions that affect everybody's lives. But it's only one part of a bigger picture. And I think we only get a more holistic sense of the world by taking a more transdisciplinary approach, which recognizes complexity and that everything is interconnected. So it's where you're actually sort of looking at what's happening in the real world, looking at the laws, you know, looking at the results of the sort of the use of power in various ways uh, and how it affects, you know, production systems, how it affects uh, uh, sort of the distribution of, of well, well-being within a society. If we're going to define economics as, uh, you know, the kind of math-centric economics that has really dominated the discourse, the debate, the academies, you know, that's celebrated by the Nobel uh, Prize, uh, then uh, it's, economics has been a complete disaster. The famous definition of economics is satisfying several multiple objectives but by limited means it's uh, by itself a good thing but uh, the most the difficult problem right now is the problem of income distribution or equity the unfortunate european american surge of non-democratic or near fascist political system is uh, reacting to the inequity inequality based by the price mechanism, which you might call capitalism.